this is our kind of eat and move over pumpkin. Charlotte Langley, she's our little pumpkin chef and culinary curator, delves into the top trendy seasonal ingredients. Yes. And they are local, they're seasonable, they're delicious, as well as other Canadian chefs using them in the kitchen. For example, have you heard of the brassica? Has about, it has about the cloud berry, and it's all we're talking this as well as sustainable seafood. Charlotte. That's right. Good sustainable to see you. Sustainable and traceable. I'll put my knife down. Can we talk about that? Because that's so important to me. The, the overfishing, yes. like it makes me, it's, it makes me yes. sleepless. It's um, a pretty challenging and emotional and very confusing thing to understand about finding, yes. sourcing good, sustainable, traceable seafood. Okay. There's two things you can do. Ask your fishmonger. Say, what's right for me here? Okay. Number two is look for MSC. MSC is a... Uh, Certified traceable seafood source. Traceable seafood so source. They're they're doing their diligence to make sure that the product comes to you well, so, so you'll you can get see it all over the place. Yeah, there you go. Bottom right hand corner. Exactly. That blue. Uh, you can get this at all your local groceries. Rectangle. It's all good. Okay. So, look for the MSC Eco label. They'll take care of that for you. That's a good choice. And for everybody who's looking to register, February 25th to the 27th, we're looking forward, is when the RC Show Canada is yes. on. So the industry comes together and you swap ideas, right? We swap ideas. This year is called the RC Innovation Unleashed. So we're innovating beyond the plate. So it's taking traditional ingredients, local ingredients, and innovating them to make them more nutrient-dense, more delicious. Yes. Innovative products that's going to challenge your sort of comfort zones. Instead of serving turkey at the holidays, maybe you're going to serve a whole roasted sustainable trout. I love that. I love Love that. So you're gonna make something. Do you mind if we like just throw please? things at you? You have to kind of. Why beat are we it. mushing? This is smoked salmon. This is smoked salmon, wild smoked salmon, and we're making a smoked salmon rouillette. I want to show people. You gotta go harder than that, girl. Oh really? You gotta like really get in oh, there. Oh no. You gotta. We're gonna whip it. This is. Is this? This is cream cheese. This is cream cheese. So this is a rouillette, and you usually make it with meat. This is but going well, right? It's going okay. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Hours. You actually have to. Uh, Killing the rouillette game. <laughs> the combination of cream cheese, butter at room temperature. A you little, gotta work out doing this, Charlotte. Yeah, you lie. gotta like, you gotta like. Okay, hold on. Come on, get into it. Get into it. Get it. Yeah, like, come on. Like go. nothing in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. So okay. I'm trying to show you how easy and fast, or medium fast, <laughs> it is to make a delicious holiday dip with a sustainable seafood base. What That's else fennel was that? Pepper. that this was... is this is fennel pepper. So equal parts fennel seed toasted and black peppercorns. And butter. And butter. Okay. And lemon and sam smoked salmon. And what do you do when it's all done? We you put it on toast or you bake it in the oven with a bit of a fromage on top. Oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. Now okay, over let me touch here, this for a what second. did you do? There's so much. Okay, I okay. need to talk. Let's talk brassicas. Let's talk Brass brassicas. What's a brassica? A brassica is a leaf. It's actually part of the mustard family, the genus of the mustard family, and it yeah. includes Brussels sprouts, cabbage, turnip, cauliflower, broccoli, and kale, which is everybody's holiday favorite or favorite. Nutrient so you get dense. Here. Yeah, you're really good at that. Well, you know, it's practice. Nutrients and jam packed. Jam packed. What is this though? You put. You're really good. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Put me to shame. That's, That's why she's this. a chef. No, well, you. Have, we have our specialties, right? <laughs> This Brassica, is salad. Kale, uh, cauliflower. Uh, yeah, broccoli, broccolini, rapini, and then there's fresh ricotta on top with a toasted quinoa pesto. So instead of nuts, it's got quinoa on it. Great idea. Okay, yeah. how do you toast the quinoa so it doesn't burn? I tried it once I burned it. Quinoa on a sheet pan, okay. oven, 350. Make a, while you're waiting, cocktail or whatever you need, glass of champagne, and then... 10 That's minutes? It. 10, 15 minutes maximum. You'll and, smell it if it's starting to burn. the pesto, what's in the pesto? Uh, if it's not Mint, nuts? quinoa, olive oil, mm -hmm. lemon, mm -hmm. little cider, a little love, local if honey. If you think you don't like vegetables, <laughs> wait till you eat this. Like, I need you to have a restaurant in the city. I'm working on it. If anybody, if you know any investors, you know, you just give me, tell them to give me a call. Guys, she needs a restaurant in the city. <laughs> you just had an amazing write-up in the Global Mail. Yeah, in Global Food and Life on Wednesday. It was really awesome. So I'm just going to keep eating. What's this? So chef? we are talking about using some non-traditional meat cuts for charcuterie. Mm -hmm. So this is charcuterie. So this is a roasted pork belly. Mm -hmm. Same. I'm obsessed with fennel pepper. I use it on pretty much everything. So using offcuts, roasting, chilling, and then slicing very thin versus buying like you know something really right. expensive. Yeah. You can do something a bit more reasonably priced. And Stretch then it out. so this is charcuterie. And this is sea cootery. Sea cootery. Ooh, yeah. That's I'm so wonderful. So <laughs> what do you have in the jar? So another trend for the fall and fall winter months is a lot of people are opening up these really beautiful like French bistro-y sort of romantic restaurants. Yeah. This is soup de poisson. This is, uses all your fish waste, all your trim waste, carrots, fennel, celery, lots of spices. 
So then you have your beautiful piece of salmon on your plate at your restaurant, yeah. and you get your little leftover soup here that is a value add and also quite delicious and nutritious. Nothing goes to waste. And pe exactly, nothing goes to waste. Be mindful of where you're sourcing and then use everything. You know, get creative. It's this so is the true. fun in the kitchen is to get creative with your leftovers. Everything in moderation except for fruits and vegetables, and that comes to the red meats. I like how you yeah. stretch it out. That comes to the seafood. Make sure exactly. it's sustainable. I love all of this, Charlotte. Thank you. For more information, guys, if you are in the hospitality industry, join Charlotte February 27th through 27th at the at 25th rather through 27th. Yes. At the the Care Center for RC Show 2018. The industry comes together, they learn, they network, they create, and of course, taste. So we can continue to inspire menus and diners with healthy, delicious food. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Yeah. I'm just going to take just this. Take that for lunch. No biggie. Just don't come near me at about two hours after I've eaten all this cruciferous. <laughs>